you see I'm maintaining this uh, thickness at the end because I want to create a little bit of a flare. So it only goes so far with it. And then back the other way. You notice I left a good chunk at the top of this handle, still maintaining that curve. Then I can go ahead and start to rough this out a little more accurately. I want this centered on my handle. I'm just going to use a pencil to give it a give me a rough. Just want to make sure I'm going to be centered. All right. That's it. Now I'll start to rough that out. Fine-tuning the, uh, the final fit, I find it useful to uh, use a heavy rasp. It just allows me really good control. You can do the same thing with the axe, but I have a big farrier's rasp, so I might as well use it. Like I said, I find it a little bit easier just to get this final fit, because you really want it right. You know, I can check my work. You'll also notice I'm maintaining this curve. That's because on a broad axe, a single bevel broad axe like this, you want to have that space so that your fingers don't run up against the work while you're, while you're hewing your log. So you, you maintain that, that nice curve in here. Um, but a regular straight axe or hatchet would just, you know, wouldn't have to have that curve. But you can see I'm, I'm able to get this nice and tight. You can see that it's almost ready to go and that farrier's rasp really allows me to take off what I need and leave on what I need. Let me finish this up. Okay, I'm just cutting a slot for a wedge. You folks like to do it this way. Some don't. I'm in the middle. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But on this particular one, I'm just going to go ahead and put a wedge in here. cleaning it out, make it slide in a lot nicer. You see this gap? Got all the way through, I've got a little gap, but that's why I cut that slot. So I'm going to get my uh, shim in position. Hammer that in, that'll spread out and hold that in there. This isn't coming out the way it is, but that'll just make it really nice and tight.
fill up that gap. Just take my grasp. So that'll last another hundred years. I'll finish up this handle now. Smoothing this out. I'm not gonna do much more of a finish than a little boy linseed oil. Rub it in real good, get it hot. My hands and then my son's hands and hopefully his son's hands will finish forming this out over the years. So I don't sand it or anything like that, I don't need to. I'm just gonna get it nice and hot and then I'm gonna finish it out by boning it. Just take an animal bone. That's the way they used to do baseball bats. It just takes a while. Just gonna run it over the fibers of that wood. Use bone because it's so hard. And then that'll just harden that cherry up. Go over every inch of this. It's real hot now. <laughs> 